in with our striped skunk. As you can see, they are beyond ready to go. They're all pumped up and excited for their day of independence here. Um, I'd like to introduce Freya. Freya Stein is our uh, mammal nursery coordinator, and she's been in charge uh, directly of their care each day, uh, making sure that our interns are giving them the correct diet and putting them in their suitable housing and um, cleaning the housing appropriately and things like that. Um, Freya is gonna be taking them to be released today. And we just wanted to give you a view here of how ready to go they are. Um, we are very excited to see these animals leave. As you can imagine, with all the care that's been put into them since they were just wee little babies, um, we do really care a lot for them, but we always understand that in the end they're going to be released back into the wild, and that's ultimately our goal. So even though we are a bit sad to see them leave, it's also a very joyous day to see that they are getting out into the wild and getting back into their appropriate habitat and you know living out their lives as they should be as skunk. Alright, we've chosen, I've chosen this general spot um, because the skunks were found in this area. We try to always um, return animals like this to the general area where they were found. Um, this, idea, this spot is also ideal because it has plenty of woods, which is ideal habitat for skunks. Plus, there's a lot of lawn space where um, they can dig up things like grubs and chase after crickets and things, um, other insect types of things that are um, part of their natural diet. They also have a nice waterway and plenty of shade for hiding during the day because they're nocturnal, so they need plenty of shade during the day. It's a beautiful August morning, about nine weeks after our turtle was initially admitted to the center. Um, after we took the wires out of the jaw and the shell, we monitored the turtle for about a week, made sure that there were still no signs of infection or any type of problems, and that our fracture sites were nice and stable, and we're now ready to release the turtle. at the release site for the coyote and Forest Lake. This is excellent habitat. Coyotes like to move in between grasslands and woods. Um, it's also nice to have a good source of fresh water right behind us, so this is absolutely perfect for him. He should be very happy here. This is our final release point at Wild River State Park. She has um, plenty of prairie and woods available to her here and this is the end of the road for us with her and the beginning of her new life out in the world.